This is a safety video for visitors considering travelling to the Great Blasket Island situated off the Dingle Peninsula in southwest Ireland. The Blasket Islands consist of six islands sitting in the Atlantic Ocean. The islands were inhabited in past times, but today none have any permanent residence. The only island that visitors can visit without special permission is the Great Blasket Island, the nearest of the group to the Dingle Peninsula. Visitors are attracted to the Great Blasket Island by its beauty and wildlife, and the remains of a once thriving village that sits on the eastern end of the island overlooking a large expanse of white beach on Thra Voin. Many are inspired to visit by the cultural legacy of the people who lived here until the island was abandoned in 1953. Native Irish language speakers, these people represented a way of life that has disappeared from Ireland, and many of their stories and folklore were recorded in books and publications written by either the islanders themselves or visiting scholars. The Great Blasket Island has no proper landing stage or harbour, and to access it, visitors must travel by boat and walk up a rough stretch of rocks once they have landed. If you are planning a trip, make sure the boat you consider using has the required permissions, licenses and insurance to carry you. All licensed ferry boats are equipped with life jackets for their journey to and from the Great Blasket Island. There is a seasonal cafe and hostel on the island, but they are not always open, and use of their toilets is at the cafe's and hostel's discretion. So please be prepared for there to be no toilets available to you on the island. There are no other facilities of any nature on the island. There is no water, food, shelter or any kind of visitor facilities. You will be on a barren island exposed to the weather. You need to bring enough food and drinks to see you through the whole day. Sun cream is important as even though it may be cloudy, you may still get a lot of exposure to ultraviolet light. During the summer, midges can be a real issue, so it's a good idea to pack an insect repellent. It's also advisable to wear full arm and leg cover and a hat, preferably of a light colour when it's the midges active season. You should ensure you have waterproof clothing both for the boat journey and in case it rains while you're on the Great Blasket Island. It is advisable to pack your snacks and your waterproof clothing in a small backpack to allow your hands to be free for safer walking around the island. As boats and pathways may be slippy and you will be walking over rough stretches of rock. Your footwear is very important. Wear good walking boots if you have them, or good footwear with a grippy sole and good ankle support that you will be both comfortable and confident in when walking around the island. Remember the rocks and pathways on the island may get wet from the sea or rain, so this makes your footwear even more important. It is not advisable to wear high heels of any kind or flimsy flip-flops, plimsolls, thin runners, slip-on or any other kind of light leather or city shoe. The traditional route to the Blaskets is by boat from the harbour at Dunquin on the tip of the Dingle Peninsula. Two licensed ferry boats travel this route many times daily during the season, which runs from April 1st to September 30th. One of these boats is a 12-passenger ferry, while the other is a larger boat capable of taking up to 50 passengers. This is the shortest ferry route to cross over to Great Blasket Island, taking only 15 or 20 minutes, depending on the weather. Please take time to read any signs and safety instructions at the pier before you start your journey. There are also options to travel on other licensed boats from Dingle Marina or from Ventry Pier, taking from 45 minutes to one hour in duration. The journey is across open ocean, which can be rough and wet, and you should take waterproof clothes and precautions if you are prone to seasickness. It's not possible for the ferry boats to land directly on the island, and each one uses a small dinghy or inflatable to transfer passengers from the ferry to the island itself. When transferring into the inflatable or dinghy, listen to the instructions of the crew of the ferry boat at all times. You will be provided with a personal flotation device that you must wear for the journey in the dinghy or inflatable. Move slowly and carefully and pay attention to keeping the smaller boat balanced. 
The smaller boat then brings passengers to the landing slip on Great Blasket Island. This landing can be exposed to rough seas and landing can often be difficult or impossible if the waves are too high. The ferries don't travel in rough weather. Take particular care when getting off the transfer boat. The slipway leads to a short stretch of rocks you must walk over and both can be wet and slippy. Pay special attention and ask for help if you feel you need it. In the very unlikely event that you fall into the sea while transferring from the ferry boat to the smaller transfer boat, please stay calm. Your personal flotation device will keep you afloat. Then listen to instructions from the crew on the ferry boat and they will work quickly to get you out of the water. The boats land you on the east end of the island beside the remains of the old village where inhabitants of the islands lived until they left for good in 1953. As many as 175 people lived on Great Blasket in 1916, and this dropped to 22 in 1953, just before the residents finally left for the mainland. The village overlooks a long white beach called Anthra Voin. This is an important beach for grey seals, and if there are seals on the beach, please respect them and keep far enough away to not disturb them. When walking around Great Blasket, generally stay on the obvious designated pathways. Off the paths there are hazards such as rocks and hidden rabbit holes which can cause visitors to trip and fall. The trackways themselves can be slippy in wet weather, so take special care and watch your footing. Visitors to the island should also be very mindful of any cliff edges and stay well back from them, especially in times of high wind. There are a number of unsafe old buildings on the island. Avoid any that could pose a hazard and pay heed to any warning notices posted. All visitors to the Great Blasket Island must take personal responsibility for their own safety and that of any miners traveling with them. The island is not a suitable place for young children unless you are completely confident of looking after them on an exposed island bounded by cliffs and where there are no safety or medical facilities of any kind. Older children should be watched carefully and prevented from horseplay and leaving the pathways. OPW guides are stationed on the island during the summer season. In the event of an emergency or accident, seek out an OPW guide who will be able to offer assistance. Guides will be easily identifiable by their high-vis jackets. If there are no guides on the island, contact the boatmen or the emergency services directly using a mobile phone. You must use the dedicated access point only to get to the beach on the island. And you cannot swim in the sea at any point around the island as the currents are treacherous. The Blasket Islands are an area of outstanding natural beauty. Please don't interfere with any of the wildlife or animals on the island and be mindful of the environment. Do not leave any litter behind. We hope you enjoy your journey to the Great Blasket Island and that this film will be useful in making it a safe experience.